Hi, I'm Dave Goldberg, engineering faculty member at the University of Illinois. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about seven facets of the 21st century engineer. It's often the case that engineers are pigeonholed as merely technicians or kind of nerdy, geeky people that uh, do, do uh, one simple thing, kind of worry about the, the, the math and science aspects of, of a technological object. But engineering is really a wonderful profession, wonderful education and way to spend one's life. And so we'd like to explore some of the different facets of what it means to, to be an engineer. And we'll do that by looking at seven facets. Uh, we will look at this kind of, this, the geeky side of being an engineer because it, it is an important one. But we're going to look at some other ones, including the creative side, the constructive side, the people side, um, the, the global side, the entrepreneurial side, as well as the optimistic side of being an engineer. So many people come to engineering because a high school counselor said, you're good at math and science, uh, go, be, go become an engineer. Uh, and of course, that's not a, an antiquated view. That's, it's still a current view. Engineers actually do know quite a bit about uh, math and science. But this, this kind of old picture of the geeky engineer with the pocket protector and the calculator, or in the olden days, as I'm showing on the on the slide, the, uh, the, the slide rule in hand is, a, is kind of an old, an old picture. But it is true that uh, many engineers have uh, followed the technical road to engineering success. And many engineering professors have especially followed, uh, uh, followed the, uh, that path. Of course, engineering is also a creative and very inventive pro uh, profession. And I like uh, the engineer and, and fluid dynamicist uh, Theodore von Karman's view that a scientist merely explores that which exists while the engineer creates what has never existed before, emphasizing exactly this point, that engineering is about creating new things and is essentially challenging um, and, and uh, uh, forces people to think very differently about the world and change that, uh, change that world. It points out that it's an intellectually challenging field uh, for those who want to be and, and can be creative and inventive. In addition, engineering is about the real world. And it's fundamentally a constructive kind of profession. It deals with the world as it is, so it has to come to, uh, come to grips with the idea that there are uh, time and money constraints in the real world. And so oftentimes, uh, engineers are, are in the business of doing the best they can with those limited resources, but not only limited uh, resources, but limits in terms of the political environment and limits of knowledge as well. Um, and so engineers try to create and change the world by creating uh, better artifacts than have existed before, better processes than have existed before, and try to leave the, the world um, uh, a better, uh, better place, try to recognize the unintended consequences of, of what they're doing. It's not often uh, thought, of, uh, thought of that engineering is fundamentally a people profession, but engineering is rarely performed uh, by the lone wolf. Uh, lone engineers are few. More often, engineers work in teams, not only with other engineers, but with people in marketing, people in business, uh, people in, in many different parts of an organization. And so this requires a, a premium on communication skills, uh, as well as emotional intelligence and interpersonal uh, skills. And, and this point's uh, highlighted in uh, Larry Bucciarelli's uh, uh, famous book, uh, Designing Engineers. Today, more and more, engineering is both a global and an entrepreneurial profession. Uh, today, projects follow the sun. That is, a project will be worked on in one country and handed off electronically to engineers in another country. And so this places a premium on being able to communicate not only with people in your own culture, but people uh, in other cultures as well. Um, moreover, engineering today is, is uh, opportunistic in a very strong entrepreneurial kind of way, not only in small startups, but also in larger companies where engineers are challenged to be more entrepreneurial or more oriented towards opportunity to try to create uh, new and better products to give their companies a competitive advantage. Engineering is also fundamentally optimistic. Now, this is interesting. When you, when you test engineers, 
uh, they'll have a range of personality characteristics, and some can be uh, uh, fairly uh, uh, pessimistic or realistic, and others will be more optimistic. But from the standpoint of having confidence in their ability to solve problems, engineers are, are, are optimistic. They believe that they can solve a problem, they believe that they can leave the world a better place, uh, although that that optimism is tempered by a sense of realism and what can actually be done in the world.